What's up guys, it's Chellers and welcome back to another episode of NHL 19 Franchise Mode with your Vancouver Canucks. In this episode, we'll be going through the NH... The, uh, wait, we're in year 5, right? The year 5 entry draft. I think we're in year 5, I hope we are. Uh, let me see, uh, 18, 19, 19, 20, 20, 21, 21, 22, 22, 23. Yep, the year 5 entry draft where we made a big trade in the previous episode to get a top draft pick. Unfortunately, it didn't work out towards us. Because we ended up losing the lottery and all three of them had the best odds because we had Pittsburgh's draft pick. We traded away Jeff Blanchard. He wasn't getting the offense for us. And even though he had a not high, a really high overall, really high offensive categories, I mean, sorry, stats, um, it just wasn't working out. So we traded him and I believe a prospect from a goalie prospect, uh, who, which we had uh, an abundance of for Alex Tuck who's an 84 overall, 26-year-old, I believe, and the Pittsburgh Penguins' first-round pick. We traded him to Vegas because they had it, and we lost the lottery. Vegas, uh, Pittsburgh was the worst team in the league, but uh, unfortunately, we got no luck. This year, we got absolutely no luck. We missed the playoffs by one point because we couldn't get to overtime in the last game versus San Jose, and we missed out on the lottery as well, but... I said this in the last episode. We are trading for that first overall pick. I don't care what it's going to take. Because that first overall pick looks really good. So let's look at our depth chart right now. And our forward depth chart is amazing. Everything is a strength besides our prospects. But again, we are in a win now mode. So our top six forwards are strength. The top nine forwards are strength. The top 12 forwards are strength. Depth is neutral. Defensive. Again, top four is a strength. Top six is a strength. Depth is a strength. Top prospects is a neutral. Defensive prospects is a weakness. But that doesn't matter. Again, we don't care about the prospects. And the goalies. We have a, a strength as a goal as a starting and a backup goalie. Our depth is a weakness, but again, doesn't matter. Top prospects again neutral. I think top prospects is just everyone, and goalie prospects is neutral. Now we have uh, Streambu and Mebus, right? Yeah, these are the two guys that are are um, our prospects that uh, can end up making an impact when once Demko uh, gets too old. And yeah, so. All right, we're going to look at it. We don't care about the projected picks. We'll look at the draft class and see if there's any steals that we can get, any gems. So let's go straight here. So the gem bus, there are one, two, three, four, five, six gems. All right. Do any of them are medium elites? No, we have two low elites. Another low elite, Ekholm Spiller, who is a power forward. Uh, low top six forward, center playmaker. And that's it. Let's look for some other potentials. So, this Nubel guy. Here we go. So, Pe Peltonen, 126th overall. That's what? 30, 30. That's like fourth round. We'll get him in the fourth round if we have our pick. Uh, then we have. Our, this is any more low elites. Yeah, all right, here we go. So we have, uh, with our second pick, we can get him, our second round pick. Uh, we have Lavalle, another right wing sniper. Let's just pin all these guys. All these low elites, okay? Any, like, high top six forwards, there's mediums. Let's, uh, get these guys done. Not him. And low top six forwards doesn't matter for now. Um, let's get those medium elites. Uh, actually, no, the medium elites are, are all the top picks, right? Yeah, like 13, Nubel, then 5, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so Stortini is there we're going for. Aiden Stortini, we're, we're trading for that first overall pick, no matter what the cost is, which is probably going to be our first round pick, and probably a, pro a good prospect. But yeah. So let's actually get into the draft right now. So we know who the pick is. I believe Columbus has that first pick, right? Uh, no, the Islanders. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking. The Columbus Blue Jackets. But here we go. First overall pick. They're an Eastern team, so it's good. We're giving them our fourth, obviously. So that's set. Uh, the trade value isn't there at all. So we have to give up a really good prospect. And who would that be? Who would that be? Uh, Kavasha, I don't want to give up on Kavasha, but we may have to, or we give up a goalie, like, uh, Mebus, Mebus, we have Strimbu as the main guy, we can just give up this goalie and that's it, call it a day, 
Aleno, it's a bit unrealistic, but let's just do it right here, right now. Trade accepted, all right, there you go. Uh, that Goldie, we know, I guess we're giving up on him easily. But here we go, here we go. We have the first overall pick, this Aiden Stortini, left wing, left-handed sniper. Let's see, will he be 80 overall or higher? He is 82 overall, medium elite. So we, he's a third line scoring forward. So he'll be playing in the NHL right away. He got 40 goals in 71 games. That is fantastic. And we do have uh, our second, oh, there's Nubel. We have, we have our second first round pick. So uh, since that Nubel guy got taken, we really don't know who else to draft. We could go a champion. Colin Champion. Let's see what he's uh TJ Oshi similar style. Uh let's look at any similar style guys. So Suban. He's looking at the best one. None. None. Brower. None. Uh Popov. Nope. Uh Puninovs. No. Hemingway. I just do this, eh? Yeah. TJ Oshie on champion, Nick Letty, Zuccarello, Parise, Thornton, Grabner, Weber, Rob Blake, Curse Lake, this Curse Lake guy, 39th over, uh, sorry, 40th is what they projected. Uh, he's an exact, he's an exact top four medium. I guess what he's gonna be. That's pretty solid. So we'll pin him. And yeah, so. I guess we could, we could just take a chance on champion, or we know this guy's projected to be like like uh, Subban, Clifford Eichel. Uh, you know what, Eichel? Let's just go for it. Why not? Medium top four D seventy five overall. All right, that's a sick pick. He is gonna be what? He's a medium minor top four defense, so that's really good. And let's just see how many dra how many more graphics we have. I hope we have a second and a fourth. That's what I really want. So draft picks, we have a second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So we have all of our picks. Okay, good, good. So, sim to user pick. He'll be our second uh, second round pick. Here's our third pick at the draft. Let's start getting some of those. Here you go, Kalpanen. A low elite sniper from Finland. 66 overall. Again, really good. Next, so third round pick here. We'll start taking the medium elites because we know they are good. So, there's only one, right? Uh, yeah, Peltonen, we'll take him now. Uh, defenseman, offense defenseman. Right-handed, he's a medium elite. Let's see what he's going to... Uh, can we see what he's uh, similar to? No. So, let's see what his overall is going to be. 59 overall, it's not bad, it's not great, but... It'll take a little bit of time to develop. His... Yeah, he's pretty good. His offense runs to 74, his shooting is really good. His passing's a little low, but again, he's only 59 overall. He's 18 years old, so we could uh, he could become a main guy in our uh, in our top six. Next up, so let's just go by potential now. Actually, wait, let's go by the gems. Or any other gems left? So there's there's three more gems. One of them is a goalie. So we just threw away a goalie. So I think this might be the best move. So yeah, let's do this right now. Zednik, 54 overall, low league goalie, just to fill up that goalie prospect a bit more. And I think, what overall, 138 overall, we might still have those two guys, right? Yep, Spiller and Ekholm. So, so we'll take Spiller first, power forward, 17 years old. He's going to be probably like a 50 overall. Yeah, 51 overall, because he's only 17, but he can grow. He can grow a lot, especially as a low league, he's a power forward, which is really good for us. And this is the seventh, no, no, okay, we have another draft pick, this is sixth, I believe, right? We'll take Kali Ekholm, he's a right-handed offense defenseman, and we have another one. He's 17 years old, he's probably like a 50 overall also. And 48 overall, yep. And last pick will probably be a wild card pick, we'll just take anyone, also we'll go by potential. So we have, we know there's me, there's a medium 70s, he's another low elite. The last low elite, so it's a right wing sniper. So we got another sniper in our team, and or a right wing playmaker, low top six. I'd rather go for the low elite, obviously. So 18 years old, five foot nine, hundred eighty pounds, left handed right winger. 
Let's see, from Belgium, 47 overall. Yep, he's going to have to grow a lot, see if, if he even makes the roster. Because sometimes the overalls are too low that you can't even, like, uh, make the team. We'll never get to that point. So, there was our draft. Very good draft. I think we only got one guy that wasn't a, an elite, right? So, we have to get some new scout signs. So, we'll just get them done right away. Uh, so, by contract. So, we have Debian. Six years left. I'll build the rest of the uh, of our franchise, our series. Then we have Oliver. Six years left, even him. So there you go. So we don't have to worry about those guys for the rest of this series. Resign some players. So Jet Wu is one of them. I'm considering signing him definitely. Uh, or actually, do we need to? We signed the guy. We traded for a guy, right? So whatever. We'll look at it now. So centers. We have Pedersen, Rogers, Horvat. They're still signed long term. Well, no, no, no. Uh, so Rogers and Horvat are signed long term, but Pedersen has one year left on his contract as an RFA. So we're going to have to pay him some big bucks. Heinen is still locked up. Then we have McEwen. Um, what does he want? A two-way deal? He wants a two-way deal, so we'll just give it to him. Costi will keep, uh, yeah, those are all our centers. Left wing. So Stortini will give him a contract right away. He will be instantly cracking our roster. Pearson, Ovechkin's an 80 overall, and unfortunately Ovi is too low and too old to stay in this team, so we will have to let him go. Actually, how much does he want? 2 million, nah, for an 80 overall, it's not even worth it. Sorry Ovechkin, sorry Ovi the grade 8, but unfortunately you are not in our team anymore. Yes, and I'm gonna wait on. Uh, Boucher, what does he want, a 2-way? He wants a 2-way deal, so I'll keep him in the minors. Uh, Gajovic will... Much to so leave him in the minors. Bitter, Bitner, sorry, we'll keep him there. Just keep those high seventies. And Archibald will, yeah, another two-way deal, perfect. Calvin will leave uh, for now as an unsigned right wingers. So for Tynan, we won't sign him just yet. Palmu wants a two-way deal, so we'll stay in the minors. Yakupov, yeah, we'll just keep him in the minors. And these guys will leave defensemen. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We have our defensemen still locked up because Yilson's contract is still good, which means Stetcher. We don't need Stetcher anymore. Uh, Jet Wu. If he wants a two-way deal, we'll keep him. He wants a one-way deal. I'm gonna let him go. We don't need one-way deals anymore. We have our top six. But he's Bois. Uh, another one-way deal. You know what? Yeah, we can't make our our minors too too bad. So we'll give him a one-year deal. We'll send him down after. Eichel, so we'll sign Eichel, I guess it's Eichel's brother, we'll sign him right away. Because he's 7 overall, he can make an immediate impact to our minor league team uh, if he plays for them. What team, what, uh, Utica, he's Canadian, I don't know if he's going to play for our minor league team right away. And we have Gauthier, who we have to sign right away, so we will sign him. He's a UFA, and that should be everyone, okay, and then goalies, Kumper. He doesn't want an extension. He played quite poorly for us last year, right? Yeah, 908 save percentage, 9, 10, and 1. We will uh, release him. Bachman. We don't need Bachman anymore. We have Strimbu as our starter. We'll have to get another goalie, though. It'll have to be the backup for Utica. But we'll, have to get a, we'll have to get two backups, basically. And we'll go one year and see what... Oh, sorry, one year. One Go one day <laughs> and see what happens. So, the so one of our scouts accepted. So Eichel is in, Boucher's in. Uh, someone rejected for who was McEwen's in. Palmu, yep. Gauthier, yep. Tartini accepted. All right, perfect. So someone rejected for who it was. I think it was. Uh, could be the defenseman. Brisbois, no, Brisbois in. Who rejected? Tartini, we didn't sign him yet. Yes, we didn't sign. Well, I don't know who rejected. I don't know if I even saw it properly, but let's look at our forwards and see who's left. So, one, two, three. It's our new top uh, first line. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 11, 12. So, we do need to sign both of them. Actually, we don't need Yaskin. How much does Yaskin want? 1.6. You don't have to sign him. We'll get Vertanen, though. We'll get him two years at 2 million, see if he accepts that. And we'll find a better fort line than Yaskin. So, 
Everyone took a hit on their overall. I mean, Besser was a 91 at one point, no? Yeah, I think he was. Um, And Sol Horvath was an 85, I think, also. So that dropped his overall a bit. He's a second liner still, no? Or is he a third liner? No, he's still a second liner. Alex Tuck's always been an 84. Sartini will be in our in our uh, third line to start, I guess, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yeah. So Tuck... How will we set this up? We'll set up to Pedersen, Besser, Kachuk. Rogers, DeLuca, and I guess Tuck, and then Horvat, Stortini, and Pearson. And Heine, Vertan, and another fourth liner. So that's all set. I was Archibald rejected, so we'll just release Archibald, it doesn't matter. Uh, anyone else have to resign? No. Alright, so let's do one more day. The last scout accepted, so that's good. Vertan rejected. At its dollar value, so many players competing for playing time acquisition. Look, I'll give him what he wants. If you if you reject, we'll just find someone else. Okay. So here we go over time, and we'll just do two years. At its two point one two five. If he rejects, it doesn't matter. We'll just uh, we'll look for someone else. So one more one more day. Rejected. All right, that's it. So over time, unfortunately, will not be staying in. Vancouver anymore we drafted him well we didn't draft him but I believe it was Jim Benning that drafted him and he just didn't pan out to be that um, ninth overall pick I believe that was what he was he just didn't pan out to be that kind of guy a top six guy but let's look at this wow so Nathan McKinnon Alexander Barkov William Nylander Patrick Kane Sam Reinhardt Jonathan Drouin Sean Monahan, Alexander Wenberg Gino Malkin Jonathan Uberdo Gustus Bear, wow, there are a lot of guys. Timo Meyer, Wallman for some lore overall, Pacioretty. Okay, so we have a lot of options to sign on free agency. So let's just look at our contract situation and see if we need one. Because I don't think we do. So our top six, 91, 89, 88, 86, 84, and 84. Do we want to do that? Second line four is what he's listed as, Alex Tuck. Um, we're going to have $16 million left. Actually, we could extend Pedersen right now. Yeah, we'll do that right now, actually. He wants, oh, see, this is the big thing. He wants $12 million. We're going to have $30 million of cap space. So he wants four years. What if we give him eight years? He's going to want, oh, man. Eight years at 15.65. We could always get him for less because that eight the thing. How about six years? You know what? I think six might be the way to go. So we'll do six years. He wants 14.225. We'll do times 0 0.85. 12 million. 12.1 million. Yeah, we'll give it to him. You know, he he's 91 overall. He's our best forward. I mean, overall wise he is. And he had a pretty off season, but 78 points. He, last year, he kind of like, he kind of deserves that kind of, that overall. And that, that kind of pay grade. Especially with Bags making 13 and a half. So, yeah. The look at this one extension just yet because he is a uh, on a minor league deal. Pearson wants an extension. We won't sign him just yet. And that's everyone. Okay. So, that's forwards. Defense. Kalau. Again, even him. He's a, he's a minor league deal. Yo Levy wants an extension. 5 million. He might be on his way out just because that contract is so ridiculous. Thatcher Demko. 9.2 million. He does want the extension. Uh, let's see. That's going to be a lot of money we're going to have to pay out. We might have to trade away someone. So, let's get Demko done right now as well. So, he wants 6 years on 9.25. So, if we give him 5 years, he wants more. 7 years, he wants the least. So, give him 7 years. 9 9.1 times 0 0.85 equals 7.75. That's really good for an elite goalie. So 7.75, and he should accept that as well. So judging off of the, what the contract we just gave out, we are not prepared to sign a big guy. We don't have the cap space, and we might not even have the cap space to sign our own guys. So unfortunately, we won't sign them, but we'll go by potential, see if there's any prospects we can get. So Giordano, uh, they're too low overall. Paranto and Fletcher, so whatever. But we need a backup goalie. 
We'll get him. A, we'll get a one-year deal for a backup goalie. So, ah, uh, Comrie. How's Comrie done last season? Nine oh one. No, Mrazic's a starter. Arundel. Arundel. He's did a bit better. Again, Camper. We had him. Gillies. Gillies. I think Gillies gonna be the guy. Yep, we'll give he's the cheapest one also. We'll give him one year, two million dollars. And yep, that's good. That's done. Jonathan Quick is there. Oof. But no, one year deal is good. And we need a minor league backup as well. So let's just look for um like another seven like a 69 overall. So we're at 71, 70. There you go. Okay, 69 overall. Let's get this medium backup, Morita. Sign him. So that's good. Defense were good. Just we just need another we just need a two fort line forward. So let's just go all the way down. So just 80 overall, guys. So we get Jimmy VC. He's a two-way forward. His defensive stats are pretty decent. What's his uh giveaway taper ratio? Really good. All right, so VC will sign him. Two years. We'll give him. We'll give him one year, at two million. And Nosen, he wants one million. Uh, what is he? Two A four as well. Devante Smithpelli. No. Uh, are any other? Here's what uh Eller. What's Eller's stats? 49 to 40. Okay, so Eller might be the main guy. We'll check Watson. 33 to 31. So either Watson or Eller. So oh, you know what? Let's go with Watson. He's a grinder. So we'll give him again one year, give him 2.3. Should accept that. So that should be everything done. We'll advance the day a couple times. We'll see where everyone ends up going, actually. So, Marita accepted. So, that's the backup goalie. Gilly accepted. That's our main backup goalie, all right? Watson accepted and VC accepted. So, everyone's good. So, let's see if anyone um, sign got some new guys. So, signings. So, Vancouver. Uh, sorry. New Jersey getting Anisimov. Winnipeg getting uh, TVR. Philly getting Eller, Raleigh Nash to New Jersey. Tafoldi went to Nashville, okay. And that's pretty much it off all we have right now. We'll look at our, our contracts and we'll just see what's happening. So again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. Defense, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yep. And goalies, yep, yep, perfect. That's that's our goalie situation, our tandem, our our whole core is set. Advanced day. Demko and Pedersen would accept it, so we have them locked up for the long term. And uh, yeah, so advanced day. One more time, we'll just look at see any any signings happen. Um, uh, player picks and signings. So Michael Ferlin. Timo Meyer to Washington, all right, that's one big one. Larkin to Columbus, Theodore to Edmonton, okay. Dumba to Edmonton again, so you're stacking up on defense. Ryan Murray to the Islanders, Uberto to San Jose. Matt Murray to Chicago, Reiner going back to Buffalo. Neander to Boston, uh, Drouin to Pittsburgh, Wenberg to Washington, Monahan to Ottawa, Gosses to Pittsburgh. McKinnon to Florida, Barkov to the Rangers, Austin and Austin Watson already saw. So let's just see. We'll do it. Is anyone left? Actually, I'm sure there's a lot of guys still left. Yeah, there's Patrick Kane, Malkin. I uh, you know it doesn't matter. We'll just submit to the rest of the season. So sim to next season. Uh, we'll reach the next season. We'll see how everyone grew. And then we'll end the episode there. We're not going to do preseason games. Because we have the Fog of War off. So, yeah. Hopefully... Deluca could grow a bit more because he's an 80 for overall. I want him to get a bit better, maybe like an 85, 86, be a good second line forward to have. 
playing alongside Rogers and Tuck. Because our second line really, it's a lot weaker now. So we lost Jeff Blanchard, we lost Ovi now. He just dropped too much. So hopefully we can do something good. Hopefully the red guys grow and hopefully we can make the playoffs once again. So if you get these trades, I'm just going to edit the trading block because it's taking way too long. So no, no, no. Uh, surplus. Delete, delete. Current picks. Off, 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 off. Future picks. Off, 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 off. Okay. Wands. So again, delete, delete, delete. Current picks, those two are already off, but these guys are off. And future picks, off, off, and off. There you go, so that should be a lot faster. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so only make the playoffs this next year. Again, we're still, I still consider myself a team that can win the cup. Especially, that, like, we have the, the right guys. We have a solid defensive core. We have amazing forwards. We have an amazing goaltender. The problem was the offense. So hopefully with Stortini now, Blanc, uh, he could replace what Blanchard did at his, in his rookie year. It'd be really good. Maybe do a bit better. He's an 82 overall, so he's still not what Blanchard was. You know, he was a 90 overall, but he could definitely reach that. An 18-year-old, I believe he was 18, right? He's not 19. Uh, and an uh, 18-year-old that's 82 overall could become a 90 overall easily, probably in one or two years. So let's go done, and we'll check the lines. Let's see how everyone grew. So, Kachuk, an 88. Pedersen, 91. And Besser, a 90. So, that's our first line. Stortini is an 82. But we drafted him and that doesn't matter. Let's put him down. DeLuca is an 85. That's great. Rogers an 86. Tuck an 84. This is our new our new look second line. We have a 2A forward. Playmaker. Power forward. But, yeah. That's really good. We have Besser, Kachuk, and Pedersen. Uh, is everyone playing the right position now? Yeah, everyone's the right position on that top six. Horvat, uh, Stortini. Let's see his shooting. Oh man, his shooting is 91 and 92. That is fantastic. 87 offensive runs to start it off. He can be really amazing for us. Playing alongside of Horvat and Pearson. Horvat's an 84 now. Uh, he's our captain still, but whatever. He's going to stay uh, in this team. Really, he'd be sol he's solid third liner. Pearson's there. So we have Heinen 81, VC 80, and Watson 80. Uh, did Heinen grow or did he drop or was he always an 81? I do not remember. But defense. Hughes, Shabbat, no. We'll do Callan Foot, Hughes and Clow, and Yoel Levy and Yolson. Yep, we'll keep out of that. And then goalies, Demko 91, Gillies 80, uh, 81, Scratch. We have Boucher, Carr, who will send down. So let's go to the roster moves. Uh, we'll go forward. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Car and Boucher, send them down. There you go. We have 18 out of 21 skaters. Perfect. In the system, did any of those guys grow? So Plum was a 78 now. Uh, we had Costi's a 72, so he's growing. He's a center playmaker. Yeah, he's still growing. He's a 72 overall. How old is he? 20. Yeah, that's good. Yakupov, was he? No. Forbes, one of them. Yeah, he's a 65 now. Budgel, no. Zabanja, 63 now. Medium top six forward. Good. Kavasha, medium leads, 62 overall. I don't remember what he was to start last year, but he's a 62 now on defense. Uh, Eichel, 75 overall. Yeah, he's going to be in our, in our uh, farm team for now. Is he uh he's a he's medium top 4D. Uh Gautier as a low elite, okay, good, good. And these guys are just nothing special, right? But he's what? No. And then goalie Strimbu is a 72 overall. Perfect. So he's growing. He's getting there. It'll take a bit of time, but we have the goalie of the future. So I think we'll call the episode there. Uh yeah, we'll do preseason next episode and we'll do I guess up to the deadline for the next episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We had a really good draft, really solid draft. We only did a couple free agent picks, but leave a like if you like this video. Subscribe for some more content. I'll be posting a bit more consistently now since uh, college is uh, the semester is done for me. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon.